Hello again and welcome back to EcoDream Venture. My name is Calvin Simmons and today we're going to show you how Powerline Ace, also known as Sure Streamer, will empower your deputy live wire Powerline adapter enough for you to ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended by Powerline experts. Now this video is meant for those who are already familiar with Powerline adapter setup, so we're going to take it a little faster. We're going to prove two things to you. The first thing is we're going to prove that Powerline experts are absolutely correct in asking you to follow all four impractical restrictions because they had no better practical uh, solution till date. Number two, we're going to prove to you that we have the solution now and that just by adding Powerline Ace at your Powerline adapter setups, we'd be able to create a Powerline adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe and yet at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended by the Powerline experts. So here we go. Now here you can see a very common Powerline adapter networking setup. We have a PS3 game console, a couple of laptops, of course the WD Live Wire Powerline adapter, and a 42-inch LCD TV, all of which are drawing power supply from a single source. Now, we, are, we have intentionally followed all four impractical restrictions recommended by the experts. So if you come closer, I'll show you that the interconnected equipment power supply has been switched off. The WD Live Wire is plugged directly to the strip without going through any search protection device. And you can see here that we have a noise generating equipment in the form of a cell phone charger, which is switched off. So we're going to see whether we can stream a full HD file from the server. It's going to be displayed on this laptop right here, right, um, which is running on backup battery. Okay. Now this is loading. I want you to take note on both the audio and visual, and then we'll check on the connection rate. Okay, this is a 1080p full HD file. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see, the audio and visual is like and started free. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? Okay, this is the WD Live Wire utility. It's going to check the connection rate of um, the WD Live Wire power line adapter. And the connection rate reads 71 or thereabout, 70, 75 Mbps, okay? All right, let's take a look and see what happens when we turn on the charger. Okay, the phone has lit up. Let's take a look again on the audio and visual. Seems to be okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the um, utility again to see the connection rate. Let's take a look at the connection rate again. You can see the connection rate is now dropped to apparently about approximately 59 Mbps. Okay, let's continue. We're going to turn on the. We're going to share the same uh, power source through a power strip. And because I've turned on all the power supply to the interconnected equipment, I can now turn the stream off and stream it via the PS3. It's going to be displayed on this LCD TV. So I'm going to turn on the LCD TV, and I'm going to switch on the PS3. Okay. Now while this is loading, I want you to take note that we have now ignored two impractical restrictions. We have turned on the cell phone charger and we are sharing the same wall outlet. Okay. All right. Just access the network in a bit. There we go. Um, we'll go to a, a main folder in the network. And we're going to stream a slightly longer 1080p HD file, Big Bug Bunny. Okay. While this is loading, please take note on the audio and visual. And then we're again going to take a look at the connection rate to see if there's any change. Okay. Right. It should be up in just a moment. Any moment now. Okay. Here we go. So this is a full 1080p HD file. Alright, so you can see some lag in both the audio and visual on this particular stream. Let's take a look at the connection rate again, shall we? Uh, the connection rate is showing approximately 55, 54 Mbps. Okay? Alright. So let's take a look and see now what happens when we include a common search protection device or a common SPD into this setup. Let me stop this stream right here. 
And I'm going to include a common SPD, which I have right now. I hold my hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the power supply for WD Live Wire, include the common SPD into the strip, plug the WD Live Wire into the common SPD. Turn and then the power supply on. Okay? Now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to um, access the same network and try to stream the same uh, 1080p HD file again. Okay, we are going to stream the same 1080p HD file. Nice. Big Bob Bunny. Okay, just a moment now when it loads. So now we're completely ignoring all four practical restrictions. We've got a cell phone charger, we're sharing the same wall outlet, and we've included a, a common SPD without power line A's. Okay? Let's take a look at the audio and visual. <clears throat> Okay, immediately you'll see uh, both um, lag on, on audio and visual, stuttering as well. Let's take a look again at the connection rate. Now, the connection rate here is showing approximately 21 Mbps. Okay, so right now we've already shown you that it becomes absolutely necessary for you to follow all four impractical restrictions because there was no um, better practical uh, solution till date. So now what we're going to do is we're going to include or introduce Powerline A's into, into your power line adapter setup starting with this particular setup right here. What I'm going to do right now is turn off the power supply to this particular station. Let me stop this stream right now. Turn off the LCD TV. Turn off power supply to all interconnected equipment and cell phone charger. Turn off power supply to the WD Life wire. And then now we're going to introduce power line A's. Now this is a power line A's model. This is one of the Powerline Ace models we have. It is also a performance proven lightning isolator or surge protection device. I'm going to remove the um, common SPD. I'm going to introduce the Powerline Ace and plug it into the strip. WD Live Wire plugs into the Powerline Ace as such. Interconnected equipment plug into the Powerline Ace. Okay? Now, obviously, this is only half the story because we have to also introduce power line A's at the server end. So let's do it. Let's, let's follow me. Now, as you can see, we have another WD Live wire here, and this is the um, server station. Let me just go ahead and turn off the power supply to all the interconnected equipment here. Turn it off. Remove the plug and turn off the power supply for the WD Live wire. And then here we have another power line A's um, model, which is also a performance proven lightning isolator. We're going to plug it to the wall, plug the WD Live wire into the power line A's as such, and the interconnected equipment plugs into the power line A's as such as well. Okay, just like that, I'm going to turn the power supply on, boot up the interconnected equipment, and we're going to go back to our entertainment station to stream the same 1080p full HD file. Okay? Okay, so right now we're going to turn on the power supply to the power line A's. Go ahead and turn on the power supply to the interconnected equipment as well as the cell phone charger. And we're going to stream, uh, before that, we're going to turn on the PS3, turn on the LCD TV, and then we're going to stream the same 1080p full HD file from the server. It's going to be displayed on this LCD TV right here. Okay, just one second while this loads. Did I turn this on? Okay, let me just turn it on. There we go. Okay, it should be up in just a second. All right, there we go. Okay, right now we're going to access the same network, same folder, same subfolder, and same file. Big bug bunny. Okay, now while this is loading, please take note of both the audio and visual. We'll take a look at the connection rate in just a bit. Now, just remember, we have just introduced Powerline A's to both your Powerline adapter setups, okay? So take note on this stream while it um, is loading. All right, here we go. Alright, 
so far you can see audio and visual pristine, flawless, no lag, no stutter. Let's take a look at the connection rate. So you can see the connection rate is approximately 137, 140 Mbps, which is a marked improvement from when it initially started. So as you can see, without just a moment ago, without Powerline Ace, um, the Powerline adapter was struggling to stream a single HD file. Right now, with Powerline Ace introduced, we're going to try and stream three HD files. So let's see if we can introduce a second HD file on this laptop right here. I'm going to go to the same network and stream um, a 1080p trailer. Okay, while this is loading, again, take note on both the audio and visual. Let me just um, pump up the volume a little bit. Okay. Okay, so the second HD stream is flawless, lag and stutter free. Let's take a look and we can introduce a third HD stream on this particular laptop right here. Again, we're going to go to the same um, network. And this time we'll, uh, we'll again stream another 1080p trailer. Okay. Again, please take note on both the audio and visual. Okay, so as you can see, the audio and visual looks fine. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? You can see the connection rate is 145 Mbps. Approximately 144, 145 Mbps, okay? So as you can see, we've managed to stream three HD files from a single Powerline adapter by just including Powerline A's into both your Powerline adapter setups. Now you can see that three streams are all streaming flawlessly. Oh, just one second, let me just clear this out for you. There you go. Let's take a look at the three streams and you'll see that they're all streaming flawlessly when without Powerline Ace, we were struggling to stream even a single HD stream. Now for those of you who think that we're actually pulling a fast one, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to unplug the WD Live wire from the Powerline Ace to show you that we are indeed streaming all three streams through a single Powerline adapter, okay? So this is a, the plug that is plugged into the Powerline Ace. I'm going to remove this right now and you can, you can see that all three streams will stop. So the PS3 stream has stopped. You can see that Laptop 1 stream has stopped and you can see that Laptop 2 stream has also stopped. What this means is that we have essentially created a Powerline adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe and at the same time ignored all four impractical restrictions recommended by the experts by just adding Powerline Ace to both your Powerline adapter setups. Now you can expect Powerline Ace uh, to be available globally as soon as we get a global partner. And the reason we need a global partner is because we anticipate the projected sales demands to be beyond our capabilities as soon as we launch Powerline Ace. Now we're just waiting for the correct time to launch Powerline Ace and we feel that 2011 is the right time. Now if you feel that you are the right partner, we urge you to contact us because investment opportunities are still open. So thank you so much for your time and for following me. My name is Calvin Simmons from EcoDream Venture. And remember, with Powerline Ace, you'll never miss a bit.